What's up guys, Anthony from New York Muscle Radio here and abfitnesstrainer.com. A lot of people have a hard time getting their meal plan down, so I'm going to show you guys how to cook some meals in bulk. I do practice flexible dieting, which means that I eat kind of whatever I want, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not prepared. Success is a planned event, so in order to be successful with your diet and make sure everything goes well, you have to make sure that you're prepared. So I'm going to show you guys how to prepare a couple meals for the week, so this way you have some and you're good to go. Today I'm going to be preparing seven breakfasts, uh, I'm going to be preparing a chicken dish and a meat dish. So all, all in all I'm probably going to have around 22 to 24 meals and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to have to start with the rice first. This is, we're going to use a regular rice cooker here and the, again the amounts of these foods are going to be different depending on you and your diet. If you're a female obviously it's going to be a little less. If you're a bigger guy it might be a little bit more, it might be a little less. If you're bulking or dieting it doesn't matter. So for just this meal plan today, my goal is to get around 100 grams of rice in each meal. So I'm going to average out around three cups of rice. So I'll just measure this out quick and show you guys. So this is mini white rice. I feel like having white rice, so that's what I'm going with. It's fine. You can use brown rice. They're both equal nutritional wise. The brown rice does have a little more fiber in it, but if you're getting your fiber from other things, you don't have to have the brown rice if you don't like it. I prefer white rice, but that's just me. So again, just measure out three cups here. It's all right if I spill some. My wife will clean it, right, Jen? Alright. So we got around three cups in there. So what we're gonna do is now I'm gonna add some water in here. So let me just come over here and add some water. So usually you want around. Right, you know what we'll do? We'll make it a little easier. So I usually just cover the rice with water, so I'll just add some water in there. That should be good. So just that much rice, that much water is good. You know, I kind of eyeball this. I've been doing it for so long. Again, this is not, uh, you know, the cooking network. So you guys know how to make white rice. Close this thing up and just hit white rice, and it's good to go. All right, guys. My choice of meat today. The store happened to be out of flank steak. I prefer flank steak, but you got some London broil here. It's a big piece of meat. This is around three pounds of meat. So I'm gonna cube it up for you guys. I'll show you exactly, you know, what to do here and how I cook it in a second. So now what I'll do is, I use meat shears, just makes it so much easier, and I'll just cube this bad boy up. And then I have two separate bowls, one for chicken, and one for meat. So I cube this up, and I'll throw them in here. Again, this is not the cooking network, and I'm not Emerald. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So I cube them up in like little inch, inch and a half chunks. It just makes it easier to cook. And then I just throw them in here. You can cut out all the excess fat and stuff that you don't want in there. That's fine. All right. All the meat is cubed. And we're going to put that aside for right now. We're going to start on the chicken. So chicken breast, this is like almost six pounds of chicken. But again, I'm going to cut out all this gross, grizzly stuff. Throw it right away and cube the chicken as well. Meat cheese will work here too. Same thing as a steak, just one inch cubes, inch and a half cubes. That's all you need. This makes it a lot easier too when you uh want to eat it too because it's already cut. All right, so now the chicken's all cubed. Nice, beautiful pieces. What we're gonna do now is, so my scale right now is off. So my camera woman passes around, so you'll see the scale is off. I'll put the meat on top of it, and I'll turn it on. It will zero out the scale. Put the light on for me. So it'll zero out the scale. Now we're gonna measure this out in pounds. So that's exactly what we want. We're gonna have eight ounce portions. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm going to line this up on the pan, I'm going to make 8 ounce bunches on here. So I'll just do this until it, the 8 ounces is on here. So now I'll try to make them into neat piles. So we got 5, 8, doesn't have to be exactly 8, so that's 8 and 1 eighth. so that's fine. So that's one pile there, that's one pile there. And then I'll just repeat that, I'll zero out the scale again and then I'll do it again. 
So this is how to use a food scale 101, I guess. But again, I just make neat piles with the chicken in here. Perfect, eight ounces. Zero it out again, and again. And I'll just repeat this until I'm done with the batch. All right, so I got eight meals of chicken made, all eight ounces each. Again, this is my serving. This is what I usually eat in a day. Uh, again, if you're a woman, you would be half this, so you would get more out of this. You have to fit this diet to your liking. And now, here comes the other part, the seasonings. You could season this however you see fit. You could put whatever you want on it. Today, I'm just going to use what I have. I have this uh, roasted garlic and herb. I love this one. It's really, really good. Um, McCormick makes it. Again, if, you're, if you have any issues with blood pressure or anything like that, then you want to avoid the sodium. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Pour it on. So I'm just going to pour it on. Again, you could probably even season the meat before you even put it in here. Like you can marinate it in something. Again, you have to be careful with some of the seasonings that you use because um, they do contain calories. Some of them, these are all calorie free. I finished this one. Uh, these are all calorie free. So, you know, you can uh, use whatever you want. Just be aware again of some of the other ones as they have calories. Like I could probably use some hot sauce on here, but again, I like to add that stuff in after they're cooked. So this is just to kind of flavor it up a little bit. Um, I love pink Himalayan, Himalayan salt. This is just really good, tastes really good. There's no additional weight loss benefits by using this. So don't be fooled with thinking that this is magic. Again, we talk about this all the time on the podcast. So just give each one a little sprinkle. Okay. So while I was doing this with the chicken, I also was preheating my oven. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So now the oven's already preset. So we're going to stick these bad boys in there. And we'll let them cook up. Again, you can cook your chicken at a higher temperature if you want. You can cook it at uh, a little longer. I prefer a lower temperature for a little longer time. So we're going to go like for 350, probably for like 30, 35 minutes. I'm very lazy. So Alexa, set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. Technology, can't go wrong with it. So anyway, so while that's cooking, I have some sweet potatoes actually cooking here. So these are regular sweet potatoes. I have this uh, potato express thing. It's really, really cool. Four minutes each what side. What are you guys doing? My daughter wants to know what we're doing. <laughs> we're making a video. You want to be in the video? No. No, okay. <laughs> so we'll put this on. Four minutes. I'm, I'm Start that up. Oh, you'll be in the video. She'll be in the video tomorrow, guys. So that's that's it. So while that's cooking, I will do this and this will cook. We'll set those aside once the sweet potatoes are cooked. And now we'll move on to the steak. Alright guys, now we're ready to move on to the steak. So, we're going to season up the steak. Again, I'm going to use my pink Himalayan salt. Can't say that word today. Just mix this in here. Good. Alright, and now we have here black pepper. Black pepper, plain black pepper. Sometimes salt and pepper is all you really need, especially when it comes to steak, lemon and broil. It's pretty much all you need. We're going to pan cook this for time. Again, if I was in more of a faster mood I would throw it on the barbecue but again we're going to use that so I have around three pounds of steak here so this is three pounds of of meat which will make me about six servings so I already had this all pre-measured out so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cook it in a big wok I'm gonna cook it all together and then once it's all cooked I'll separate it out in the Tupperware so I'll show you that so I'm gonna put this on right now I mean I gotta have to show you guys how to spray some pan in here Again, you don't want to put any butter or oil or anything because that's going to add extra calories. If you're trying to gain weight, that's perfect. You could do that too. Um, just four extra calories, but if you're not trying to or trying to lose weight, always go with the pen. Zero calories. So again, we'll get this on. And then while that's getting hot, and I'll throw this on and we'll be good to go. So again, this will make six servings here. I actually get a lid, I'll cover this and I'll let this cook. Alright guys, so while we're waiting for the steak, the chicken to cook, and the potatoes, I am going to set up breakfast. So I also do my breakfast, I'm going to do seven breakfasts for you guys today, show you guys a little bit of what I eat. Um, this is usually my pre-workout meal also, so it's going to be a little higher in calorie. Um, we're going to do some oatmeal, we're going to use some whey protein powders, this is New York Muscle Radio protein powder, it's the best protein powder on the market. We're going to use some natural peanut butter as well. So I picked up a whole bunch of these Tupperwares online. I got them on Amazon. The brand is called Fit Packer. I have no affiliation with... Yes, peanut butter, baby. I have no affiliation with Fit Packer at all. Uh, but it's just, again, good um, quality um, Tupperware. Um, um, so. I just kind of fell on my waist. Oh, thanks, babe. Thanks. So we're going to take out seven of these. I'm going to measure this out. I have water boiling here for the oatmeal. 
So I don't know if my camera woman can see, but what I'm gonna do is here is I always get the quick oats. One minute, doesn't have to be anything crazy. People go crazy to steel cut this, that. And we're gonna measure out around 40 grams, or I'm sorry, around 80 grams. So that's around 50 grams of carbs, 50, 60 grams of carbs. So let's see, I can't really see from this angle. You're up to 61. All right, so 60. Oh, I'm sorry, 80. Who am I talking about? 60 is how much you need. There's two servings. I can't see, Jen. Please tell me to touch go. that. Perfect, 80. All right, so now that we got this down, we're going to measure out two scoops of whey protein. I'm actually going to flip the scale around. You guys can just trust my measurement because it's easier for me to see. But again, I'll do this seven times in a row. So I'll zero out the scale again. We've got the New York Muscle Radio whey here. This is going to make vanilla, vanilla, peanut butter, oatmeal. Look at that. So this is a brand new thing. Scooper's right on top, see? Can't get better than New York Muscle Radio. Can't. So, got this out. Let's measure out two scoops here, which is around 68 grams. And this will give me about 50 grams of protein. 68 grams. Gonna be exact there, perfect. So this is one down. So I'll do this now seven times. Alright guys, so now I measured out only five, but you guys get the idea, you could do seven. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to sift around the oatmeal and the protein powder so they kind of mix up. Just like this. This is about the consistency you want. You can see the oatmeal and the protein powder there. Now what I'll do is I'll take my boiling water and I'll just pour it over the top. Let's put this down. Yeah, I just do a little at a time. Thank you, babe. Hold on. So, I'll just mix this up just like this. Okay, Daddy. Got some commentary in the background, guys. This is what happens when you're a parent. Some of you might know this. So, I'll just get this in here. I need a little more water. I mean, I used to have a water cooler with that used to dispense hot. That made it a lot easier. So, we'll uh, just add some more water here. So now, I got enough in here. I didn't actually eat too much, but it's good enough. So here you go, you got water, oats, protein powder. So now, the next step in this, again, this is usually my pre-workout meal, so it's a lot of carbs. I like to have a lot of calories. I love oatmeal before I work out. Um, just, it's good, it sits in my belly a little bit more and uh, keeps me full during my training. So now what I'll do is, I'll use a natural peanut butter and guys, one quick tip, you always want to make sure that your peanut butter has only two ingredients, peanuts and salt. Everything else is crap, and especially if you're a guy, when it has palm oil, that will lower testosterone. So again, make sure that you're getting all natural peanut butter with two ingredients, peanuts and salt. So, while this is still hot, I'll zero out my scale, and I'll measure out one serving of peanut butter in here. This is at the end of here, but... Hold on, Gabriella, we gotta put the peanut butter on. Okay. So almost a full serving in here. And again, guys, you feel free to customize any of these meals however you see fit. If you wanna add some blueberries to this, you can. If you wanna add some, uh, you know, maybe beans to the rice, you can do that as well. So now the peanut butter is in here. Peanut butter is actually gonna melt into the oatmeal, so we'll just stir this up. Just like that. And there you go, this is breakfast. Just make sure you keep stirring it up so it has a, a nice mixed consistency. And that's it, breakfast. So now all I'll do is pull this out. I might heat it up, I might eat it cold. I actually prefer it cold. But yeah, so there you go, this is breakfast. This is one meal down. Guys, quick tip. So now we have one meal down while everything else is cooking out of all the meals. One quick tip, you never wanna cover a container while it's steaming hot. So right now this is piping hot from the water. If you cover it, you'll get all condensation on the bottom and it will make the container look very ugly. So I will leave this out just like this and let it cool and then when it's cool, I'll throw the uh, lid over it. Again, you can feel free to customize as much as you can. If you want less fat in your duct, thank you, Gabriella. 
If you want less fat in your diet, you can take the peanut butter out and add blueberries. Again, since we practice flexible dieting here, you could sprinkle in an Oreo or two and get away with it as long as it fits your macros and fits your calorie limit for the day. All right, so finished our breakfast. As you can see, it's right there. It smells really good. It smells like cake. Steak is also finished. So what I did was I measured out evenly six portions of steak, like I told you would make six. So here are all the six. They're all lined up. Now we're going to add the second ingredient to the steak, which is going to be the sweet potato. So what I'll do is I'll take a bowl. I usually don't eat the skin. I'll show you guys what I do with the skin in a second. But I'll cut this thing. Just watch your hands. And again, they're cooked and cold already. They've been sitting out. Sweet potatoes open. And then what I usually do is I'll just peel the skin right off. And boom, that's all the middle of the sweet potato right there. I think that the more of the nutri nutrients of the sweet potatoes right in the middle. I'm not a fan of the skin anyway. Unless you're making sweet potato fries and the skin is good, but so I clean this out. And this is what I do with the skin when I'm done with it. <laughs> That's where the skin goes. So now once I'm done cutting all this up and putting them in here, I'm gonna measure them out inside the steak. So I cut up all the sweet potato that are in here, so what I'll do is I'll actually just mash it down. I'll make like mashed potato here. So you can see the sweet potatoes are done, so they mash up really well. Again, you could spice this up, add some cinnamon, some Splenda. You know, you could even, again, if you want to add the peanut butter to this concoction, you could too, instead of the breakfast, but everyone's going to be different. So now that this is all broken up, what we're going to do now is, I'm going to zero out this, and I'm going to measure out four to six ounces in each one, depending on how much potato I have. So again, I'll just put my scale in pounds, zero it out, and then I'll wait. So this is around five ounces. We'll see if I can get away with that all the way through. So. Can I do it too? Sure, you're doing it from over there. <laughs> Kids. See, Daddy's making his food for the week, right? What do you always tell Daddy to what? Eat your protein. Eat your protein, right? We got five ounces there. I'm probably gonna have a little left over here, so. All right, so now the chicken is done. I took it out of the oven, so if you guys come in here, our little piles are done. As you can see, they're piles. So actually, cool trick, they're actually in holes. So we could just actually put these on the Tupperware, um, just like that. And how you can tell they're done is when they have this white, that's, that's how you can tell it's done. You can cut one obviously open and just check, but this is done here. So what I'll do is I'll grab the Tupperware, and then I'll just show you guys, just put it in. That's it. Just make your piles and you're good to go. All right, so all our chickens out in our Tupperware, our steak is pretty much done, our steak meals, our breakfast meals are done, so the last thing to finish off is the chicken. So our white rice is done. This literally took five minutes in the rice cooker. Rice cooker makes it so easy. You can even have, leave, put it on in the morning and leave it on. By the time you get home, it'll stay, keep warm. It has like a setting that it automatically goes on. So I definitely recommend picking up a good rice cooker. Anyway, this is done, so we'll zero out the scale. There's a lot of meals here, right, Gabriella? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it's zeroed out my scale. We're going to measure out about 100 grams of rice per Tupperware. So, again, I'm doing the same thing here. Mm -hmm. I love rice. You love rice, right? Mm hmm. I like mm -hmm. my own the best. Right. And again, it doesn't have to be 100% exact. Thank you. But as long as you're in the ballpark. You'll be good right, to go. Home stretch, guys. The last thing is the broccoli. I'm going to line up all the chicken meals and probably some of the steak ones with broccoli. So I got this 32-ounce bag, 2 pounds of broccoli here. So I got my water boiling. I'm just going to add this in, and then we'll be good to go. This will take that long to cook. And there we have it. Within 5 minutes, this will be done. And then we'll measure it out inside our container. All right, so while our broccoli is cooking, I just want to tell you guys about a little bit of the macros in here. So in all this, so basically three meals, I'm going to have the oatmeal, chicken with the rice, the broccoli, and the steak with potatoes. And if I had just those three meals, that would be around 150 grams of protein, around 150 grams of carbs, and around 40 grams of fat. And that's too little low in calorie for me, but again, this is my base. If I had this already done, I don't have to really have to worry about food for the rest of the day. I may have like egg whites. Um, after that at some point or maybe another shake but again having these meals prepared makes my life so easy I may double up and have two meals in one day if I'm really running late like I said having the meals makes that much of a difference so make sure that you 
customize this as much as you can to your meal plan and how many grams of protein you need, how many grams of carbs you need. But again, it, it took me a little over an hour to do this, so it's not that much time. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is how you save this. So again, once everything's cooled off, you can lit everything. I usually keep one or two days worth of food. Rocky looks like it's almost it's done. I usually keep one or two days of food inside the fridge, and then I'll put the rest in the freezer so it'll last me. So that's what I would recommend for you guys as well. All right, broccoli is almost done. Let me take that out, measure it out, and then we're good to go. All right, guys, so I'm going to measure out my, my serving of broccoli. So that's what it looked like. Nice, presentable meal. Doesn't look too bad. Again, it looks appealing to the eye. The color really pops out at you. So it's usually when you add the color to these things that it makes that much of a difference. So again, this is frozen broccoli. Just cooked it really fast. Throwing it in here now. Yeah, we're good to go. Again, I just pop one of these things in the microwave, minute and a half, and uh, should be good to go. Sometimes I may eat them cold, depending on what my schedule's like for the day. But again, this makes my life as a trainer that much easier. And I know what will help you guys out too. And guys, while I'm loading this up, I want to let you guys know about my podcast on iTunes. I have a podcast on iTunes. It was ranked really high on iTunes. We got as high as like 35 in the fitness section. So check that out on NewYorkMuscleRadio.com if you have not already subscribed. Um, it's good. Also, if you're in the Long Island, New York area, I do offer personal training there. And uh, yeah, I have my own place, so it's nice. So this is just about done now. I'm going to make it nice and presentable. But I'm measuring it out. Make sure, make sure it's, it's very important to measure it out because, you know, if you guys overeat anything, even if it's vegetables, you will gain weight. A lot of people think that vegetables are free foods. And yes, they're very low in calories, but again, overeating anything will cause weight gain. So again, I'm going to throw some of the steak ones. All right, guys, and that was it. Like I said, about an hour to do this. But not too time consuming as far as that goes, so. All right guys, and that's how you prepare 18 meals. Again, feel free to customize this as best as you can toward your meal plan and your goals. If you wanna bulk up, add more calories. If you're trying to lose weight, maybe cut some down. Again, make it fit your add protein, take away protein, add beans, take away beans, add all different variety. You can catch me at abfitnesstrainer.com and don't forget the best muscle building, fat burning, no BS podcast on the planet, New York Muscle Radio. I'm Anthony Bevilacqua and I'm out.